Wow. Wow is all I have to say. Hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, we've all heard about Micah Parsons is working on bulking up um, to play defensive end. Okay, um, of course he's been a linebacker and now converted into a defensive end. Um, he's about 252 pounds, somewhere, uh, so to speak. You know, somewhere between 245. I think they're going to want him to play about 255. So we're assuming that he's somewhere around 252. Um, we saw, I believe it was last year or maybe it was the year before, him in a race before Pro Bowl with uh, Tariq Hill and dusting him. And we know that Micah Parsons' game, he is fast. If Micah Parsons is bulking up and has already started the process because we're only 121 days, three hours and 45 minutes away from kickoff of the season, if he's already started up that process, be scared, NFL. Be very, very scared. We have a clip of Micah Parsons working out. You know, we've always get clips of like, you know, Zeke Elliott working out, doing the cones and things like that. Here's what I want you to see. We have Jamar Chase, one of the best young wide receivers in football. We have Deuce Vaughn, our new scat back, third down back. And we have defensive end Micah Parsons working out. And I want you to take a look and think about this. This is a man that's 252 pounds. Watch. Yeah. One more here. Yeah. Wow. You know, Eagle fans, I get it. I get it. You guys were this year's hottie. You guys have done a lot of great things. You had a great season last year. You were in the Super Bowl. I got to be honest with you. The thought of the Dallas Cowboys defense, led by Micah Parsons, who the Dallas Cowboys are working on building around, as opposed to what we did with Dak Prescott last year of taking people away, they have gone through and said, we're going to surround Micah Parsons. We're going to make sure that he is going to have everything he needs to have the opportunity to be a defensive player of the year. And I think about having guys that we haven't really scratched the surface on yet that are going to be added to the mix. A guy like Sam Williams, who is another big fast guy i think about having Diggs back out there i think about having damone clark who another guy who to our surprise we got on the field last year had 47 tackles when we all thought it was a red shirt year i think about hankins who we didn't get till week seven and made a difference immediately in the run game until he got injured and then adding a mozzie smith I think about a line that could potentially end up having, depending on you know the sets, you could end up having Mozzie Smith at the nose. You could have um, Osa, who's another fast guy. You could have Hankins at the other tackle. You've got D-Law, who could be interchanged with Sam Williams or Dante Fowler or um, Dorrance Armstrong and a Micah Parsons. A healthy, confident Leighton Van Der Esch in the middle. A Damone Clark. Um, wow. Wow. This defense is going to be everything 
that Dan Quinn preaches fast and physical. Yeah. Yeah. There is no Micah Parsons resting on his laurels. Micah Parsons is trying to finish them. Wow. All right, good people. Just a little interruption in your day. Be scared, Eagles. Be scared.